Hi YouTube, it's Arcade Machine 15 here. I just thought I'd make a quick video demonstrating an easy way to get a recovery mode. So as you can see, this is an iPhone 5S and it is stuck in recovery mode, on purpose of course, for the demonstration of this video. Um, and iTunes is flipping out as per usual, saying uh, there's a problem with the iPhone. Um, iPhone uh, needs to be uh, updated or restored. Now Apple's been pulling this bullshit like for years now, and people know that this is kind of a lie on Apple's part, and they still seem to th to think that you're stupid enough to believe this warning that it gives you every time you plug your iPhone into to iTunes um, with you know in uh, DFU mode or recovery mode, what have you. They'll always say this, and it's kind of funny actually because I I think the main reason is because they want you to update your device to the newest iOS. And speaking of people that still have iOS six, they're even trying to get people off of that. By making all the apps unsupported, even though they're basic apps that should be supported by an older iOS. Um, and I don't know why it is that they want people off of the older iOSs, um, but they just really want people to get on the newer ones, and that's one of the reasons why they give you this message every time you plug your phone in. So it's wanting me to update. It has it lit up, you know, it wants me to update it. And it's making you think that this is the only way you can actually get out of the mode, is either to update or to restore because it's trying to make you feel like there's nothing else you can do. It says, oh, there's a problem with the iPhone. You know, it's in recovery mode. Oh, there's something wrong with it. Yeah, that's the only thing I can do, right? Well, wrong. So there's many ways to get out of recovery mode. And the one I'm going to show you is what I feel the easiest way. So I got this program installed on my computer that I'm going to use to uh, demonstrate this. Okay, if I can even remember what it is. Let's pull up a link here. Okay, hold up. I'll, I'll be right back. I probably should have had this on the desktop before I made the video, but anyways, here it is. It's called Focus. There we go. It's called uh, Re Iboot uh, 960. So I'm I'm gonna have a link in the description for this so you guys can download it. And um, yeah, let's open that up. Okay, there it is. And we're gonna open it up. Uh, my antivirus is uh, freaking out, even though it isn't a virus. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so here's what it looks like when you get it opened. Um, so welcome to Reiboot setup, and it's actually quite quick to uh, set up, and it doesn't even take long at all to install either, or uh, download rather from the internet. So yeah, downloading is easy, and the install is easy. Does it right away? It's a breeze. It takes less than a, like less than a minute to do it all. So once you're done doing that, you can run it, and it's gonna want you to uh, go to their nice little website here. So let's get out of that. And then it has this. So this is the main thing that pops up here for uh, re iboot. Now it already knows that this device is in recovery mode, so that's fantastic because it's giving me an option to exit the recovery mode. So we can do that. Or we can actually enter recovery mode if you wanted to enter it for uh, example like a, a jailbreak or some other uh, need of having to go into recovery mode. It'll give you that option to go into it. So uh, let's exit the recovery mode right now. Actually as I do I'm going to show you on the device that it actually does work so that you guys aren't thinking I'm lying or something. So got that there. This is going to be a bit tricky to do. Um, yeah this is probably not going to work very well. Let me see if I can just prop it up against there. Okay, that works just fine. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to click it. You should be able to hear when I click it. And there we go. So, that worked, you know, fantastic. Um, and it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do, which is exit the recovery mode. And, um, yeah, I should have said this in other videos, because I, I posted other videos about how to get out of this mode. And I didn't quite mention this part because everyone seems to think that this will work no matter what if they're inside this mode. It doesn't always work no matter what if you're in this mode. So if you're in recovery mode and you have the Apple um, or the iTunes logo and the, the plugin, you know, uh, it's not always going to work. It'll work probably more than half of the time, um, but there is times where it won't work. If it doesn't work, uh, your device could be corrupted or, you know, badly, you know, ruined inside one way or another. Um, usually from water damage. So if this doesn't work, getting your device out of the mode, the last resort is obviously to do what Apple wants you to do and uh, do a restore, but most likely it's not going to work if this doesn't work. So this is the basic way I've 
figured out that um, is the easiest to get out of the mode. Um, but yeah, I mean, if if it doesn't work for you, I'm sorry to tell you this, but your device is more than likely either messed up internally, you know, or I don't know. I heard that if you have an iPhone 6 and it doesn't have the original home button from like a, you know, a third party repair store in the mall or something, then it'll shoot up that error uh, if it gets an update or something from iTunes or from, you know, Apple with, with on the phone itself. So yeah, if it's, iPhone, if it's an iPhone 6 and it has that, and if it had a screen repaired previously, it's more than likely because it doesn't have the original Touch ID button, and you'll know if you don't got the original Touch ID button, because if you had it before, um, uh, or if you have it after you, the device was repaired and it doesn't work as uh, reading your, your thumbprint, then you'll know it's not the original um, Touch ID. So yeah, but more than likely, if it's just a standard iPhone that hasn't been tamper, tampered with before, um, this will get you out of the mode. And, you know, like I say, I can even put you in the mode if you want to get into it. But if it doesn't work, there's got to be something wrong with your device. I don't know what else to tell you, but, um, yeah, this will work more than half the time. So, I hope this is, um, easy enough for you guys to follow. Like I say, the, the link will be in the description, and it's really simple to install. It takes, like, you know, less than a minute to download and install it, and then, you know, it'll, it'll detect what your device is in. So... Like, I'll, I'll even demonstrate how to enter the recovery mode real quick so you guys can see that it actually does that too. Mm. So there we go. I'm guessing it's going to work. I didn't actually try doing this yet, but I'm assuming it would because this seems like a really good program. I didn't make the program. I'm not sponsored by it or anything, mm -hmm. but I just think it's a really great program. So there we go. It did work. And then let's exit it again. And, you know, it's working. I don't know why it didn't make the unplug mm -hmm. noise. There we go. A bit delayed. But, yeah, this program works very well. It does exactly what it should. And also, I should probably mention, if you are in a mode called DFU mode, where, you know, the screen is just black. Hold up here. Um, all you gotta do is hold both the buttons for about 12 seconds and it'll get you out of the mode. But I mean, you can get out of the mode too if you're in recovery mode uh, by holding the buttons. But, you know, um, most people that look at these guides, they don't really know how to do the instructions. And this is an easier way of getting out of it than telling them all the, dis all the instructions and whatnot. And, uh, you know, some people may have a broken button. So this is an easy way to get out of the mode if you're stuck in it and... Yeah, try it out. Um, like I say, it's in the description, the download link, and I'll be happy to answer any questions in the comments mm -hmm. if you have any. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. I know most people that watch these videos, they usually don't subscribe. They watch it for the tutorial, and then they leave, you know, and don't even usually give a like to it. So I please, I really would appreciate if you liked the video and subscribed. I make other videos for repairing el electronics, um, you know, iPhones. Samsung phones, Xboxes, TVs even, and I really would appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my uh, channel and like the videos because, you know, I have over 40,000 views on some of my videos, but I don't even got 300 subscribers because, you know, people don't usually subscribe because they just watch the videos for what they need and leave. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will try to answer as many comments as I can of you guys in the comments that are having issues. And, yeah, I mean, it can't be any, any more simple than this. You know, you just download it, and it tells you what you, got, what you can do here. So, yeah, thanks for watching as my phone falls. Luckily, this isn't my main phone anymore, but, yeah, um, just a demonstration prop, I guess. But, yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys watch um, more future videos. So, thanks.